All right, we're going to make this quick. Not much of an intro, not much of an uh, introduction, uh, et cetera, et cetera. It is an Attack on Titan Chapter 124 um, analysis, review, whatever. Just some of the things I like the most from this chapter. Uh, pretty stacked chapter overall. Uh, I believe I have done 123, 122. I believe 121 is the almighty uh I kicked off some of these things, but I think I've done the past two or three on the channel, so I decided to keep it going. And we'll just jump into it. I've already read the chapter, so I'm just gonna let's try to let's try to just get down to five things I like the most. So the first, obviously, is uh, this progression we slowly are doing with Aaron's Titan. Uh, I thought originally it was gonna be like the Rod uh, Rice Titan, where it's just that land, that giant entity. But this seems to be something far more amazing uh, than that. I mean, this is... It's not even formed yet. Like We've seen the face, and that's about it. And the, fo the face was even completely formed. It's like some weird mesh between Aaron's actual face and the Titan, which is new. But, yeah, it's not even done yet. So I love that. Uh, number two, uh, kind of like this Gabby uh, Retribution arc. So we go down to here, uh, continue scrolling, continue scrolling. So we see the, uh, Mar the LD, Mar Marlins, the Marlins, um, that kind of stepped out, uh, onto the scene. They, um, are stuck between a rock and a hard place. Kaya, the girl I believe was saved by, um, I was saying Mikasa, uh, after this flashback that we get here. I'm pretty sure Mikasa saved her, if I'm correct. I don't remember exactly who it was that saved her, but I thought it was Mikasa. So we get... Well, no, it may not have been Mikasa. Um, Mikasa. Who, who was this? I don't remember who this was. It wasn't Mikasa, because that's not Mikasa. But whoever did... Oh, uh, I'm stupid. Uh, Sasha. The irony is she went to the family... And Sasha was the girl that Gabby... I forgot about that. I'm sorry. Gabby, the girl that Gabby killed Sasha. That's Sasha. I forgot what Sasha looked like. It's been a while. Anyway, so Gabby, um, coincidentally, kind of like Arya Stark in Game of Thrones, is right there at the moment where uh, Kaya needs her the most. Uh, it's a payback uh, for everything that's happened, which I actually... This is my first time knowing that, that was Sasha. So I didn't actually... This was lost in the original when I first read this. But... Retribution. Uh, we kind of see a more impassioned... Well, not impassioned, but more neutral, but... Stout uh, Gabby at this... Part. I don't want to scroll down too far because I'm going to spoil the thing I like the most out of this chapter. But... Um, so we get to... We get to here, I don't want to fight, I just want Falco back, disappearing, so she's not just brash, she's coming there fighting, uh, she's trying to be a real, like, a pacifist here, you know, just get what she needs, and, you know, we had our sorrows and all this, but everybody's, you know, in a pretty bad place now, so let's just get our people and try to f flee as much as we can, even on her knees begging, which, I mean, the Falco we knew, I mean, like, the Gabby we knew, she, uh, was not gonna beg ever. I also said this in the last chapter, but she's one of the three people that look a lot like Aaron. Um, I don't know what... I, I, yo, Isayama? Isayama? I don't... Why? He made three people look like Aaron. It's so difficult. Anyway, uh, I don't want to scroll down too far. So that's number two. Number three, I really like the... Um, so, you know, I kind of built to like... They pretty much knew at some point they're going to fight the Titans. They're going to fight everybody that they used to like. Everybody left over. Because, I mean, most of the Commander Corps, most of everybody in power, pretty much everybody that we don't actually see in this chapter uh, that is a soldier drunk the wine. So, they were all pretty much fucked by uh, Zeke. Uh, sorry for the bad language. And we get down to here. Um, I'll, we'll make this part of this, this point. I love seeing Shaddis uh, come back. You know, he hadn't seen the wine. I don't know if there's any standout moment in the previous chapters where he denied the wine. That Isayama may have harkened back to, but this is Shadis like kind of having that moment where we call back to when uh, originally when it was Grisha and all of them, and he just wasn't the man. He couldn't do it, and this is him. You know, his balls finally dropping. Um, shout out to Keith Shadis. 
So we go down to here and we finally get, you know, they knew they were going to see Commander Pitsies at some point and then they finally get to to this chapter, right? This, this not chapter, this part right here. And it's, it's so sad. I mean, Pitsies, you know, he... It, I remember a couple chapters back when the transformation happened and we were like wondering like, because it looked like it was a, like a dream at, at the time when this was finally taking place. And yeah, he transformed his eyes, was growing light and all that. And he, I mean, he knew he was going to transform at some point. It's so depressing to see it, but I mean, you get the good send off to him. And I mean, that just, it didn't feel good in the sense it actually felt good. But I think they're going to do a lot of that with the anime. Uh, pretty short send offs but impactful uh we don't really have time to do a commander erwin type of thing or anything like that but um rp my guy pitch is so that's number three number four um just the helplessness i mean you go through this chapter uh everybody knows it i mean pretty much everybody in the planet is is you know done uh everyone in planet outside the walls are done and even the marlins who are in the walls are done. I mean, either Aaron seems to be unable to control um, the Titans, as we find out, from eating people in the walls as well, or that just didn't matter to him. I know, I mean, we get this little part uh, earlier where, you know, the soldiers we have come to know over the past three seasons, uh, four seasons or so, uh, they kind of think to themselves, like, okay, so he came, He Aaron wanted to save us, you know, he wanted to save us. This is off of us. But in that same moment, they kind of like start pretty much realizing Aaron's a, a, a sack of sh lying shit because they're literally eating the soldiers. And as we find out, they they originally don't know that Aaron can control the Titans. He's just not. Like, you look at this moment. He can't control the people. And then we get to down here. I should have section this bit. Oh my god, I went too far. Uh, so we get to this part. Uh, Aaron could, you know, possibly turn her back into a Titan. Very possible. You know, again, he doesn't know that, you know, Armin doesn't know shit about shit. Uh, and then, you know, Gabby drops a bomb that he could peel, a, he can undo the hardening, which the undoing the hardening wasn't something that we, I guess, necessarily thought of something that Aaron was going to do. When we think about the fact that to undo the Titans, he had to undo the hardening. So I, I think the effect of that, like he un, I don't know if this is in the same title, but he undid the hardening of the armor Titan, I guess. And yeah, I mean, I didn't, I just didn't think about that. Like he could undo the armor from the armor Titan. He could probably undo the jaw, the jaw Titan. I mean, like he literally could easily, very very easily, like, tell these Titans, like, don't eat anybody in this area. Just eat people outside this area. So it's more than likely that Aaron just allowed them to eat everybody. Just go, like, completely curb-stomp the world. Uh, Aaron's in a pretty bad place. I don't think there's anybody that was less in a position to control the Titans than probably Aaron. I mean, maybe Zeke. I and mean, Zeke was going to, like, euthanize his whole generation. Um, but... That may actually be preferable to what Aaron is going to do. I mean, Aaron's going to euthanize the whole planet, pretty much. I mean, like, if you look at this, he's eating all the Moralians, he's going to eat all the Eldians, and they eat everybody else. I mean, that's that's the entire planet he's going to just destroy. And virtually, as presented now, there's nobody who can stop Aaron from that. I mean, the only person who's in paths with him is Zeke, I think, if Aaron is still in paths. But Zeke can't... What, what can Zeke do? He can't touch him. I mean, dude's protected by... Uh, that stupid, I'm not gonna call it stupid, but that um, Emir, uh, Emir dickhead. Uh, I don't know. Just have a last name. Just Emir. She's Emir dickhead. Is her name? So anyway, back to my my fifth point and falling to fourth. We're talking about the hardening. Listen, I was wondering how they do it. I I was for about the past ten chapters. I was wondering how how would they do it? How would they make this woman important? How would they make her relevant to this? We have every other titan in the power of. Aaron and stuff, the Colossal Titan, and uh, Rainers, but Rainers is useless right now. So I think every other Titan is in the position of um, of Aaron, except the one. He would undo all of the hardening. Ani. The return of the female Titan. Uh, listen. 
say what you want about Ani. She is probably overhyped for somebody like hasn't been seen in the series in, since 2016, 2015, something like that. She's impactful in, in her way. She's like the, the um, to, to put this in a Dragon Ball perspective, which is my intention. She's like the, she's like the future Trunks. Like you don't get her all the time. Matter of fact, is what twenty years between we've seen Trunks in the uh, Cell Saga and Trunks in the uh, the the Goku Black Saga. But guess what? He's still like the number three in that series. I mean, he's more liked than Ultimate Gohan uh, or post Teen Gohan by a wide margin. I mean, and this is just Ani. I mean, Ani is still probably better character or at least a more loved character than like 95% of the series or 95% of the series cast here here's who I think is like unanimously loved more or I guess liked more than her I think it's Mikasa I think it's Erwin I think it's Levi I think it's Aaron and then I think it might be Zeke and that's a that's it I mean I don't think anybody else is like just unanimously wants it as much as Ani as like the five characters I look like you could you could kill Jean, Rainer, Bert Holt, uh Gabby, Falco, Yelena. Um I, I'm 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 weighing back on I, I don't even think people like Armin that much. You could take Armin out too if that meant that you could have more Ani and we're gonna have more Ani. I, I always figured that Ani's gonna play a part in this because she's just she has the natural power of hardening. However, so she does, she's like the most proficient hardening user that we were introduced to for 99% of the series. So I have to figure that even though she doesn't have the power because Aaron took it, I still feel like she can be used somehow to harden things, which, I mean, that's her only aspect of her Titan that matters that much. I mean, she's a female Titan. She's very nimble. nimble. She can be used very proficiently, but she can't, obviously fight the hundreds of titans even if we brand the colossal titan have like some one side against the other they're gonna get curb stopped by a, those are hundreds of titans they're gonna get destroyed so i mean with it like it's, it's going to be something where maybe this is my my speculation maybe armin throws um maybe he's like a distraction that sets up armin not armin He's a distraction that sets up uh, Mikasa and Ani to get into Aaron's space. I don't know how they're going to get past the steam, but that's my own way I can figure. What if they make Mikasa the Titan? I don't know why they would, but what if they did? They made her wear a Titan that Falco. I think Falco is like the the uh, the cart, not, not the cart Titan, the, um, the Warhammer Titan, I think. I think that's who he is. I'm pretty sure. Um, but maybe it just turns out normal Titan. Anyway, that's it for me, and I'm just speculating at this point. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, greatest series of all, greatest anime series of all time, in my opinion. You know, I just finished Neon Genesis Evangelion, uh, and I thought about how hopeless that series looked, and this is starting to reach some of the same hopeless. I mean, like, we it's like you get hope built up, like, you have Asuka fight the nine um mini evangelions um and then it's like okay she's beating their ass and then like they just come in together like get back like nothing happened they just kill oscar and just destroy her that's what this feels like they're gonna build back up they're gonna build the forces up everybody's left it's like the the ragtag group of of fellas and <laughs> the word i want to say was not very pg rated um and they're going to try to fight and they're not going to win because we still have to get to the point where Amir gets reborn. And for that to happen, it's got to be a blank space and no Taylor Swift. So I think we're going to have uh, Asuka getting destroyed by the Evangelions uh, times 100 in this series. We're going to see everybody die. Mika's going to get killed. Armin's going to get killed. Um, hopefully Armin has like a redeeming fact. I hate Armin. Hope Armin gets redeemed at some point. I feel like he's going to kowtow to Ani a lot. And he has done nothing military-wise. He's done nothing. He's done nothing the entire... He's done nothing ever. And he's going to kowtow to uh, Ani's 
obvious more leader experience obviously higher leader experience and it's gonna be like why do we even need armin why can't we just have erwin anyway peace